Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And welcome back to another Todd E. Walnuts update video. We got some things piling up here. We're gonna do a video tonight. I spent pretty much all day today outside doing yard work, and I got done just in the nick of time because we're getting storms tonight, rainstorms, thunderstorms. You can probably hear it in the background. I shared a couple clips in the beginning of this video. So you may hear some noises in the background. The ladies are here with me today. Miss Hannah, Miss Heidi. I got a bunch of stuff strewn about across the bed. Mostly DVDs, but I do have some Blu-ray and 4K titles that I added and upgraded. I got some cheapies that I wanted to grab. I got some pretty good deals. I got a couple box sets, which I already showed in separate videos, but I'm going to include those in this video as well. I got a figure, I haven't picked up a, a horror figure in a while, so I wanted to grab one of those. I also got a, a vinyl soundtrack from Waxwork Records. We'll go through that at the end. So get yourselves relaxed, get a beverage, get a snack, kick your feet up, get in chill mode, let's go. I think we'll start with the figure and get that out of the way. Not that I'm trying to get it out of the way, but I want to get into the movies here. So this is a Tarman figure from Return of the Living Dead. And this was put up by NECA and these are called Toonie Terrors. And I've mentioned on the channel many times that I'm not really into the cutesy type of horror figures, but I do like these these Toonie Terrors are pretty good. I have a couple of them. I have Leatherface, Jason, um, I can't remember. I have a couple more and then now Tarman is added. This is always a pretty cool figure. I like this 80s cheesy monster from Return of the Living Dead. It looked so ridiculous in the movie, but it was, it was still fun. And the figure looks just as ridiculous and still fun. So I, I was glad to pick this one up. I ordered this one. Um, I think it was on eBay. And apparently this one's getting a little harder to find because the ones that I was finding are about 30 bucks. So that's a little more than I would like to pay for a figure like this, but I wanted to have it and it's mine now. So that is Tarman from the Return of the Living Dead. I thought I'd pull the other ones out just to show you uh, the ones that I own already. So I have Jason, I have Leatherface, and I have Freddy. Wouldn't mind getting Michael Myers, maybe a couple more other ones. But these are the four that I have so far. Okay, so we'll pull from this first pile here of DVDs. And this is going to be a very heavy DVD video. There's a lot of DVDs to show. So I have one two, three, four, five, six piles of DVDs. And in this back corner, I have a little pile and a half of 4K and Blu-ray. And then I have a couple of box sets. So I, I've been going heavy on DVD lately. I've been trying to pick up some of the more rare ones and ones that I wanted for a while. Uh, this is a really good time to do that. If you're interested in picking up some DVDs that you had on your list, This I would recommend doing it now. And this is one that I have already. And actually this one is a cleaner copy than the one that I have. But the reason I got a second one is because it came in a pile of uh, a lot. So there was like, I think there were six movies in this lot. I needed five of the movies. This was a double. I don't mind getting this one again. This, these are pretty rare. This is from the company No Shame. It's a Sergio Martino Giallo slasher movie called The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. It's in really, really good condition. It's like brand new. So I'm glad to have this. And it, you know, this could either be a, a giveaway in the future or a trade or a sale. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have an extra copy of a rare movie in your collection. <clears throat> the next one I didn't own yet on DVD. I do have this in a Blu-ray box set from Arrow Video, but this is no shame. And another Sergio Martino movie called 
Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. And you'll notice that Sergio Martino did a lot of work with Edwidge Fennec. And she was actually married to Sergio's brother. Sergio's brother was a producer of a lot of Sergio's films. So he was, uh, he collaborated quite a bit with Edwidge Fennec and she was a cutie. She's really, really beautiful. This movie was from 1972. I believe she married um, Sergio's brother in 1971 and it lasted till 1979, if I remember. I, I did a little bit of research. And uh, so this one came out in 1970. So these are really nice to have. Glad to have those in the collection. This was also a double from a different lot that I won. And this is another Edwidge Fennec movie called All the Colors of the Dark, another Sergio Martino movie. This one also stars George Hilton and Susan Scott. This is put out by Shriek Show. This thing is like brand new. All the Colors of the Dark. To me, you can't go wrong with Giallo films. Some are better than others. Some are pretty lame, but they're still fun to me. I have a couple of Mondo Macabro DVDs, and I, I just watched this one last night. It was pretty good. It's called The Killer Must Kill Again, and this is the uncut widescreen. Before this DVD, I don't think it had a release in the US. And uh, this was pretty good. It was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. You can watch it in English or Italian language. It's a movie from 1975. It was filmed in Italy. It stars George Hilton. Pretty good. The next one I haven't watched yet, but I'm going to be watching this one very soon. French Sex Murders. It says, this 1972 Giallo is a riot from beginning to end. Groovy. This is part of the Dick Randall Collection, Volume 1, apparently. And it was filmed in Italy and Germany in 1972. It's an anamorphic widescreen. There's a documentary on here as a bonus material and you get deleted and alternate scenes. And I'm not sure if this is in English language. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Oh, it does, it says right here. I don't have to get back to you because it says right there, 90 minutes widescreen color English language. So that's good. It stars Anita Ekberg. She was always great. Barbara Boucher is in here too. French Sex Murders. If nothing else, that's one hell of a title. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And I have Satan's Blood. This is the uncut Euro version. A genuinely creepy satanic horror flick. Plenty of sleaze and full frontal nudity. I know we like the satanic nudity. And this one came out in 1977. It says terror, sex, and satanic rituals on a one-way ride to hell. You can see that there's some pretty good um, gory special effects. So, Satan's blood, glad to have these three Mondo Macabro DVDs. I'll probably pick up more of these over time. The next DVD is from a company called Raro Video. This is called The Night of the Devils. Directed by Giorgio Ferroni. There's the Italian title down below. Ninety-three minutes running time. It contains a booklet and a DVD. That's what I like about these Raro video releases. Uh, it'll tell you exactly what it's supposed to have inside. Johnny Garco stars in this one. He's a great actor too. It's 
says it has a new HD transfer, um, original English trailer, it has a new and improved English subtitles. And there's a, a couple of bonus materials, a video interview with the composer. Uh, I was trying to see if it had English language. It says at the bottom you can watch it in Italian and English with English subtitles or German subtitles. So they got you covered on this one pretty good. This is another company that puts out really good quality stuff, rare old video. So I got the four Prom Night movies on DVD. This is the original first one starring Jamie Lee Curtis. It's a widescreen edition of it. You see Leslie Nielsen there. I think this is a pretty fun slasher movie. It's the Echo Bridge DVD. And then here's Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou. MGM. This one came out in 1987, 97 minutes running time. You can watch it with English audio and you can watch it with English, Spanish or French subtitles. There's not much I need to say about these movies. I'm sure you guys are all well aware of the Prom Night movies. And then here's a two-pack here. You get Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss, and Prom Night 4, Deliver Us From Evil, a double feature DVD. I believe it's on a flipper disc. And this was put up by Artisan. The movie came out in... Uh, Prom Night 3 came out in 1989. Prom Night 4 came out in 1992. So this is my little Prom Night haul. Now these next two stacks here are going to be Blue Underground DVDs that I picked up for the collection. And the first one here, these are in no particular order. This is the special edition of Manhattan Baby, filmed by Lucio Fulci. I'm trying to grab all of these while they're pretty low still. These are pretty, very affordable. This is the unrated edition. All these movies that I'm showing you today, I shouldn't say all, most I have on DVD, or on uh, Blu-ray already. Next one is called The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. They're calling this one a spicy giallo. I, I still haven't watched this one yet. This one came out in 1970. 96 minutes running time and it's unrated. I picked up Fire and Ice. This one has the lenticular slip cover. This one's getting a little harder to find especially in good condition because this one was released in 2005, so it's almost 20 years old already. But this one's in like perfect condition. The lenticular slipcover doesn't really change the image. It just kind of shows a 3D depth and uh, it doesn't look like it's picking up on the phone here, but it does look pretty nice in person. Next one is the Stendhal Syndrome, starring Asia Argento, directed by her father, <coughs> Dario Argento, excuse me. This one comes with a slip cover. It's a two disc but special edition. This one was in perfect condition as well. It's getting harder to find some of these older ones with their slip covers in good condition. This one came out in 2007 by Blue Underground, but the movie came out in 1995. Really glad to find a clean slip cover on that one. Then I have uh, Torso. This is the second edition of Torso that was put out by Blue Underground. There was a yellow cover, which was the uncut English edition, and that was 90 minutes running time. This is the European cut, which is four minutes longer. It runs at 94 minutes. This is uh, Sergio Martino's Torso. I just watched this one recently too, but I watched the Arrow Video Blu-ray of it. I like this movie. A lot of people don't like it and a lot of people don't really talk much about it. 
but this is a movie I enjoy. It's from 1973. I think the killer is pretty good in this movie. It's pretty brutal. This is the uncensored, this is the full length, 94 minute cut. Here is the first pressing of contamination. This is the one that came in the black case. They started putting the clear cases on later. So this one came out in 2003. And then I think it was, I think it was re-released about 2005 or 2007, somewhere around there with the clear case. But I, I really wanted this one, so. The first printings or the first pressings of these came with the little insert. The ones with the clear cases didn't. But not all of the clear cases had a earlier black case, if that makes sense. So this is uh, Luigi Cozy's Gut Blasting Classic, now totally uncut and uncensored. It's a pretty fun sci-fi horror movie. Kind of a drive-in style. Glad to have that one. It's in really good condition. Here's another one in a black case. This was a first printing. This is called Q, the Winged Serpent, filmed by Larry Cohen. This is another fun little monster movie, creature feature. This one also came with the insert in crisp mint condition. And again, we have the crazies. This one's in a black case, George A. Romero. To me, this was one of the rare cases where the remake was better than the original, in my opinion. That's just my humble opinion. This one came out in 1973. I thought the remake was better. It was uh, had a bigger budget, had better special effects. It, had, uh, it was more brutal. There was more brutal kills and stuff like that. It was it, it was just more scary, too. It was a scarier version of the movie. But this is still a good one, The Crazies. Here's Vampires, filmed by Jose Ramon Larraz. Beautiful vampire women. The movie came out in 1974. An erotic horror classic is reborn, now totally uncut and uncensored. I have The Bloody Judge, a film by Jess Franco, starring Christopher Lee. Haven't seen this one yet. 1970. It's fully restored, never before seen European version. And the last one from this pile is called Daughters of Darkness. Still haven't watched this one yet either. This one came out in 1971. It's another vampire, erotic vampire picture with beautiful women that are, who are vampires and seducing men. Can't go wrong with that kind of movie. I have to be in the right frame of mind to watch movies like this, but this would definitely be a good twin bill here, Vampires and Daughters of Darkness. So that was the first pile. Let me take a quick break and we'll jump into that next pile there. So moving right along, I have the Blood Spattered Bride. Check out that cover. Sexy, scary, and smart. I haven't watched this movie either. This is an unrated version. Movies from 1972. I think the, the first pressing of this was from Anchor Bay. And uh, this one's from Blue Underground. Next one is called The Cat O' Nine Tales, another Dario Argento movie. Yeah. I think this is a good giallo, starring Carl Malden. This is a real thrill ride. I, I enjoy this one. 1971, classic shocker from Dario Argento, director of The Bird with the Crystal Plumage and Suspiria. And uh, Dario Argento has done some magnificent movies over the years. Next one's called The Bloodstained Shadow. It says it's a knowing tribute to the Gialli of Argento, Bava, and Fulci. This one has Craig Hill in it. Craig Hill was also in a lot of spaghetti westerns. This one came out in 1978. Has a soundtrack by Goblin. Directed by Antonio Bito, who did Watch Me When I Kill. It's a pretty fun movie too. 
I have this one on Blu-ray from Germany in a media book. And I have two of those. So one of these will be probably at some point a giveaway. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. The next one is called Strip Nude for Your Killer. They're calling it Ultra Trashy Fun. This one came out in 1975. Has a couple interviews. This one also has Edwidge Fennec in it. And Ed Edwidge Fennec is still with us. I believe she's she's got to be in her 80s, I would think, by now. But she's still with us. So is Sergio Martino, for that matter. He's he's in his 90s, I think. Next one is called The Case of the Bloody Iris, and you guessed it, Edwidge Fennec is in it, and as well as George Hilton, who was another great actor of the Italian genre movies of spaghetti westerns and giallo and Italian horror movies, slashers. This one came out in 1972. It's 95 minutes running time. It says plenty of sex and violence to whet your salacious appetite. The next one is Maniac, and this is one with a slip cover, and this one is still brand new and sealed. So I grabbed this one. I'll never open this one because the edition that I watch is on 4K. But I was really happy to get Maniac with a brand new slip cover. I mean, it's, this thing is, it's been sealed since what, 2007? Close, going on 20 years, 17 years, whatever it is, but uh, really glad to have that one. And I also got the Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue <clears throat> with the slipcover. This is a two disc special edition. This is a really good movie. You don't really hear too many people talk about this one either, but this is definitely, to me, in my opinion, one of the best zombie movies. It's also called Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. This one's still sealed too with the slipcover. Really glad to have this one. There's not too many good copies left. I'm just kind of letting you guys know if you want to start grabbing some of these, you might want to do it now or soon. And then I have the bird with the crystal plumage. I got two of these. They're both in like perfect condition. These are both the two disc special edition with the slip cover. And of course, this is an Argento movie. Really glad to have these. So that was it for that pile. We're making really good time here. I'm gonna pause it and we're gonna keep moving. Okay, so this pile for more or less were kind of throw-ins. Um, so usually there's little techniques that I use when I'm looking for a movie. Maybe some of you guys do this as well. And if you don't, maybe you should. If I'm looking for a particular movie, uh, like for example, say I'm looking for Four Flies on Grey Velvet, uh, Gray Velvet on DVD, and I'm willing to pay $15 for it. So I'll go on eBay, Mercari, I'll check all these different sites, and I'll look for it, and I'll try to find one that's in really good condition for 15 bucks or less. And if I do, then I'll also type in Four Flies on Gray Velvet Lot. And sometimes you'll find the movie you're looking for, and then you're going to find like three or four other movies that come with it for like 18 bucks. So instead of the 15 that you're, you know, originally willing to pay, you're getting two or three more movies for an extra couple bucks. That's the way I do it. I've been doing that for years. It's a, it's a good way to kind of fill out your collection uh, and get good deals at the same time. So these movies I wasn't looking for, I actually have this one already, but this is a really nice clean copy of the Anchor Bay two disc edition of The Hills Have Eyes. This is a really nice edition here. So this was pretty much a freebie that was thrown in. And these, I, I was not looking for these at all, but they were tossed in basically almost free. This one's called From the Grave, from the director of The Frighteners. Don't know anything about it, haven't watched it. It looks like it was a, a former rental at one time, but I've, I never owned that before. So the next one's called The Experiment. Again, I was not looking for it. I don't know anything about this. It was a, a throw in. Looks like it's pretty good. Uh, mental, looks like a mental hospital type horror movie, I think. 
where they're doing, it looks like they're doing experiments. Obviously it's the name of the movie, but I think they were doing experiments on like uh, mental patients or something. Here's one from Tartan Asia Extreme called Our Point, the point of no return. Just basically a throw in. And the last one was David Cronenberg's Spider. I've never seen this movie before. I like David Cronenberg's work a lot. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. It has Ray Fiennes in it, Miranda Richardson, and Gabriel Byrne. Never seen the movie before. This one came out in 2003, I think. So these were just kind of toss-ins. I, I would Usually I wouldn't even show these in a video, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I collect. Maybe that would help you out. I don't know. Just giving you little tips. So now we will pull from the fourth pile, I guess, of DVDs. And we've got one more DVD pile after this, and we'll get into the Blu-ray. So this is the aforementioned Four Flies on Grey Velvet. I've never owned this one on DVD before. I was glad to get this one. It's in really, really good condition. It's put up by Maya Communication. The movie came out in 1971, and this release came out in 2008. So the Dario Argento, kind of a kind of a forbid, uh, forgotten, not forbidden, forgotten movie of his. One of his lesser knowns, I would say, but this is still a good one. Four Flies on Grey Velvet. I also own this one on a German media book. And so let me see if this is the pile here. Nope, this is not the one. The next pile I got all in one lot for like 20 bucks. I, I was pretty happy about that. The next one is called The Fun House Massacre. I have this one on Blu-ray already, but I grabbed it for on DVD for cheap. Murder is all part of the show. This is a Scream Factory DVD. Next one is a creature feature from the 70s called Horror of the Blood Monsters, starring John Carradine. Check out that cover kind of harkens back to the old comics. Soar Through Space, the Vampire Planet. This would be this would be a great twofer or a, a twin bill with uh, Planet of the Vampires. This was put out by oldies.com. It's directed by Al Adamson, 1970. See some of the stop motion creature effects. You get the rare Italian language version as a bonus material, bonus feature. Then I picked up some of the Jaws movies because I, I used to have these on DVD years ago and I sold them when I upgraded to Blu-ray. So I picked up Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3, and Jaws 4. I got all four of these together for $10 from the same seller. It was a lot. So that was an easy pickup for me. I'll take four Jaws movies for 10 bucks. The next one I own many times. I, I own it on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K, but I didn't have this edition of it. This is the Jeepers Creepers 2 DVD with the lenticular cover. So I had to grab this one. It's in perfect brand new condition. Always wanted that one. And I also got Jeepers Creepers 1 with the lenticular has a little bit of sticker residue on the corner, but I can get some goo gone and take care of it. But these are, I, I really enjoy these movies. I think they're great. They're fun movies. And uh, these additions are fun additions too. Glad to have these. The next one is the Pumpkinhead DVD lenticular cover. I never owned this particular edition either, but I do have the DVD, Blu-ray and 4K of this movie but I never did have the lenticular. This is getting harder to find too in good condition. I, I, I knew I had to have that, that's awesome. And I have a couple of editions of Antichrist. One I purchased over the past month and one was thrown in as a freebie from my one of my buddies that I met here now on uh, Mercari. I've been doing a lot of business with him lately. He's called the Illuminous Eye. He's been selling some really good stuff and I, I Give him business, we'll put it that way. I've been buying a lot of stuff from him and he's been tossing in some freebies for me. So he tossed in this brand new still sealed copy of it. 
and this is the one I purchased. He didn't know I had it already. And I used to have this one before. Early on, I got it at Best Buy probably, when did this come out on DVD? 2002, it was probably around that time when I bought it at Best Buy. And this thing was really hard to find at that time and it was it was going for like 60 bucks and I ended up selling my copy. And then I'm finally now just getting it back. So, but I do have this on a, a German media book, Blu-ray, but I'm glad to have it on DVD again and now I have two. So like I said, I can give one away or whatever. And I picked up Howling 3, the marsupials. Just when we thought it was safe to go down under, now there's uh, werewolves in Australia. It's from Elite Entertainment. This movie came out in 1987. It's a PG-13 movie. It's um, it's it's not as good as part one or even part two, but it's still pretty fun. You know, this is a drive-in style movie, and it's it's fun. So that was the last uh, fourth pile. I got one more pile of DVDs here. It really feels good to uh, to get a lot of rain after I just cut the grass today and I cleaned the gutters and. Uh, so this rain is right on time. This is perfect. I don't think it's supposed to rain very much longer though. I think it's supposed to stop in an hour or less. So this pile here was all from one seller and it was $26 shipped on a Mercari sale. And most of these are, well, they're all DVD, but most of them are Scream Factory. So this one's called Extra Terrestrial. A film by the Vicious Brothers, IFC Midnight, Scream Factory. This one I have on Blu-ray already. This is called Beyond the Gates with Barbara Crampton, the gorgeous Barbara Crampton. Also IFC Midnight and Scream Factory. Barbara Crampton is still smoking hot. She's in her 50s now and she's very, very gorgeous. Here's Pie Wackett from the producers of The Witch, which is a movie I really enjoy, The Witch. I have never seen this one. This is also IFC Midnight, Scream Factory. If I could grab all these movies for $26, I'll do that every time. This one's called Jackals, from the director of Saw, the final chapter. It's put up by Scream Factory. one's called The Devil's Dolls. I have seen Midnight and Scream Factory. Next one's called Hashtag Horror, starring Chloe Savini, Timothy Hutton. I have seen Midnight Scream Factory. Chloe Savini's kind of a cutie too. She's pretty hot. She's sexy. She's a naughty girl too. Here's Cockneys vs. Zombies. I have this one on Blu-ray. This is a great movie. It's a, a zombie comedy, a zomcom. It's hilarious. If you guys have never seen this before and you like British humor, or even if you don't know anything about British humor, I would recommend you to watch this and you'll learn some things. It's pretty hilarious. There's an elderly gentleman in here. This is put up by Scream Factory. Let's see if I can find him here on the back. This dude right here. He's hilarious. He's the funniest dude in the entire movie. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some pretty foul language, but it's it's pretty hilarious. I laugh every time I've seen, I've seen that movie a handful of times now, I, I laugh every time. Next one's called Zombie Fight Club. It's put out by Scream Factory. If you guys have seen any of these and you wanna comment, please feel free to do that. This one's called Wormwood, Road of the Dead. I have this one on Blu-ray. It's brought by Scream Factory. It's a pretty good movie too. What did they say? It was Mad Max mean, meets uh, Dawn of the Dead or something like that, or Shaun of the Dead. It's a pretty good movie though. It's pretty. Uh, it's a splatter flick. It's pretty good. Uh, pretty good carnage in that movie. This one's called The Wind, Demons of the Prairie. I have seen in Scream Factory. Looks like it's a, uh, a Western themed horror movie. Looks like it'd be pretty good. This one's called I'll Take Your Dead. Death is Knocking at Their Door. I've never seen this one before. This one says it's put out by Shout Studios.
started losing focus all of a sudden. I hope it wasn't always like that. This one's called The Midnight Man. This one comes with a slipcover. It has Robert England in it. And it's put up by IFC and uh, Scream Factory. Let's see when this one came out. This one came out in 2016. And the last one from that pile has another slipcover. It's called Ambition. It says uh, special appearance by Lynn Shea from Insidious as Evil uh, from the producer of A Nightmare on Elm Street. This one's put up by Scream Factory with the slipcover. And I've never seen this one before. So that was my little Scream Factory DVD pile for 26 bucks. How did I do? Was that a good was that a good deal? Would you have done it? I think I did a pretty good job there of picking these up. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's about two bucks a piece. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. So we're going to pause it here and keep moving. We're going to get into the Blu-rays now. So the next one here was a gift from a fellow YouTuber. I'm going to give him a shout out now. He goes by the name of Let Us Play. And he ordered this from Germany for me for a, a belated birthday present. My birthday was at the end of March. And he wanted to get something for me. So he ordered this from Germany and sent it to my home. And this is called Viking Vengeance. It's also known as The Headhunter as an alternate title. And from what, I'm, from what I've heard about the movie, it's kind of a, if you guys know anything about Skyrim, the game, it's very similar to that. I guess it's, a, it's about a Viking who, I think he loses his daughter to a monster and he has to go and slay this monster. And he collects heads from all these different monsters that he kills. And so that, uh, that's his mission in this movie is to take vengeance for the death of his daughter. And he wants to collect the head for his trophy. So this is a media book. We're going to open it up. It's a two disc limited collector's edition. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo from Germany, but it is an English language. I believe it's region B though. And uh, it is region B for the Blu-ray and region two for the DVD. So the movie came out in 2019 and you can see that it's an independent film and from what I hear it's a, it's a low budget, but for what they did with their budget, it was pretty amazing. You can see some of the stills there. So I'm looking forward to popping this in. I may even watch it tonight. I'm gonna pause it here really quick. I'm gonna pull the plastic off and we'll take a look inside. So here's the J card pulled off. And this is gonna go in the trash. I don't keep these anymore. Um, this media book looks amazing. It looks really good. And this is what the back looks like without the J card covering that up. Open it up. There is the Blu-ray disc. And you can see kind of a, I guess kind of a viewing of the, the kingdom in the back corner with the forest and the fog. It looks good. said it won the best film at the Nightmare Film Festival in 2018. Nice thick glossy pages. I, unfortunately I don't read German but I do love the photos in here. I think it looks great. Really nice. I, I think I will watch this tonight. It does look like Skyrim. If any of you guys have ever played Skyrim, that's a great game. But it looks a lot like this. Or The Witcher. It has kind of that same feel to it.
curious to know where this was filmed. Maybe I'll take a quick look and let you guys know. It looks like it was probably filmed in Europe somewhere. There's the DVD. Take that out and take a look at the back. Another kind of rolling hills with the fog there. I love that. I'm going to pause it really quick just to see where this was filmed. It looks beautiful. So it was uh, directed and filmed by American directors, and it was filmed in Portugal. That's pretty interesting to me. So it's an American film filmed in Portugal. I'd be curious to hear if any of you guys uh, have ever watched it. So uh, let's just keep rolling here. I got a couple steel books. This is a 4, 4K upgrade of Creepshow Steelbook. I thought this was pretty amazing. It was only like 25 bucks. I snatched it up. I wanted to grab that for the Scream Factory Steelbook collection. I also picked up Pumpkin Head, which was a Best Buy exclusive on Steelbook. That cover is freaking gorgeous. It's amazing. Another great movie. I love the Pumpkinhead movies. And then I picked up, this is a, a European import called Angel Heart. I remember watching this movie back in the day on, I think it was Cinemax or Showtime or something. It has Mickey Rourke and uh, Lisa Bonet. Um, and it's, uh, and I believe De Niro is in here as well, if I remember. And supposedly, there's a, a sex scene between Mickey Rourke and uh, Lisa Bonet, and from what I, from what I hear from the legend of it, it was a actual penetration scene. I don't know if it was. I can't say 100%, but that's just what I heard. And uh, I did a little research, and it said the same thing. People seem to think it was real. So good for him. I mean, Lisa Bonet, she was pretty hot back then. So I thought this was a pretty nice steel book. I paid a little bit of money for this one, but. I wanted to have it. It's kind of a, uh, a voodoo type movie, horror movie. And so those are my three steelbook pickups, Angel Heart, Pumpkin Head, and Creep Show. Also picked up a couple of box sets, which I did unboxings of these already. So I'm just gonna show them here. If you're interested in seeing more, go back a couple videos and you'll see the unboxings. I did separate videos for both of these. This is the Cosa Nostra box set starring Franco Nero, and you get three movies in a thick book. It's really nice, really, really nice set by a company called Radiance. You get The Day of the Owl, The Case is Closed, Forget It, and How to Kill a Judge. If you want to see more, check out my video on that. And I picked up the Umberto Lenzi, Carol Baker, Giallo Collection. These are the movies that Lenzi did with Baker. I think there's, there's four of them total. And you get... Orgasmo, So Sweet, So Perverse, A Quiet Place to Kill, and Knife of Ice. Plus you get two CDs that are soundtracks for the movies. This is from Severin. This is a beautiful box set. These are still available too. Both of these are, are very affordable. I think this one's going about 50, this one's going about 60, something like that. I bought both of these on Amazon US, so if you're interested, go check that out. And I picked up an independent movie called Return of the Scarecrow. This is kind of a rare movie. I got this one on eBay. I bought it directly from the, the filmmaker. He's selling his movie. There's, I don't think there's very many left, but it was only going for about 20 bucks. So that's pretty fair. The movie came out in 2018. It's running about 75 minutes. Uh, this was directed by Walter Lodes III, written and directed by him. And you can see some of the stills there from the movie. I enjoy a good Scarecrow movie. I will be showing my Scarecrow collection video at some point. I do have quite a few of them. I picked up my first Code Red Blu-ray, uh, 4K I should say. This is Scream. This is not the Ghostface Killer Scream. This was the original Scream. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to Code Red anymore. I didn't know they were starting to put some of their movies on 4K. But this one is also, it's hosted by Maria Kanellis and she's kind of like the, uh, kind of like an Elvira type presenter and a host, hostess I should say. And 
Uh, this is a pretty good slasher movie. It's, there's nothing special about it. It's kind of run of the mill, but it's a pretty good slasher. Uh, this was one that was on my wish list for a long time. This one is getting harder and harder to find. This one is limited to 1,000 from Scream Factory. And it's, it's getting hard to find these. And if you do, they're very expensive. This is Attack of the Crab Monsters. This is a sci-fi movie from the 50s. Very low budget. It's the low print run that makes this one so expensive. I was glad to finally get this one. I don't have to think about it anymore. I paid a little bit of money for it, but I'm glad to finally have it. I picked up Scarecrows from Scream Factory. This also has a Blu-ray release from 88 Films in Europe, but I wanted the Scream Factory release. This one's getting a little pricey now too. This one's out of print. It's getting harder to find. Glad to finally have that one. I picked up Torso from Arrow Video, and I just I just rewatched this recently for like the third time I've seen it now, and it still holds up. It's pretty good, and this is a nice release from Arrow Video. This was on Amazon US, and it was like 15 bucks, so I bought it, and then I looked a couple days later, and now it's back up to like 30 bucks. So I don't know if they had like a half off for a few days. Every once in a while, Amazon will do that. They'll put something on on clearance or on a, a real low sale price, half price or something. And uh, they did that for the she series, <clears throat> the animated series. I think they had it down to like 15 or 20 bucks one time. And like a day or two later when I wanted to buy it, it was all back up to like 50 bucks. I was like, forget it. I'll just wait till it goes down again. But I don't know why they do that. Every once in a while they put something really, really cheap. It's still in the player right now. This is the reversible cover. That's the Italian title for it. This one has, uh, what's her name? She's really, really gorgeous. She looks like Sharon, uh, Sharon Tate to me. Um, talented versus uh, Sergio Martino. I'm trying to find her name. Susie Kendall. Susie Kendall is her name and she's very, very beautiful. She looks like Sharon Tate to me. Um, and Sharon Tate was gorgeous. But this is called the special edition. It didn't come with a slip cover. It didn't come with anything on the inside. Unless it did at one point and I, cause this came out in 2018, I think. So it's been out for like six years already. Maybe at one point I had a booklet, but I just wanted to get in and watch it on Blu-ray. It looks really good. And then I picked up this one from a company called, uh, what was it called? Fractured Fractured Visions. This is a Polizio Teschi uh, Euro crime, uh, Italian police crime movie called Freehand for a Tough Cop, starring Tomas Milian and Hen Henry Silva. And uh, it was uh, directed by Umberto Lenzi. I'm gonna open this up and go through it. This is a, a new company to me. I'm not really familiar with them, but it looks like they released this one in, I thought it said 20, was it 2018 or 2019, something like that. Uh, there's also another one from this company that I ordered. It's not quite here yet, so I'll show you that in the next update video. But I'm going to pause it here, open this up, and we'll take a look on the inside. All right, so this looks like a really nice addition. I think I paid about 25 bucks for this on Amazon US, and it came within like two days, even though this is a a European company, I believe. It is, I think this is a British company. So Amazon US must have a little, uh, some stock on hand because this, this got here in like two days. It's limited to 3000, if you can see that there. And if you wanna pause it and read some of the bonus materials, you can do that too. Uh, this movie is all region. The movie itself came out in 1976. And it comes with this nice slip box. There's only one entry point. It's really nice. And then here is the Amore case. It has the Italian title. There's Tomas Milian there on the cover. And here on the back, it just shows more of the same. It's 92 minutes running time. I'm looking forward to watching this one too. This one looks really good. And on the inside, it comes with some so it's some pretty cool stuff. Looks like we have some art cards. We have a really thick booklet. And here's the disc. So 
what the inside looks like. Put that off to the side. We'll flip through the booklet really quick. Really nice, high quality pages. There's so many great companies, and then now there's new companies coming out, and there's and there's only so much money to go around. You just have to be, just got to grab what you like. Can't grab everything. Just grab the stuff that you really like. Tomas Milian was a great actor. He could play a hero or a villain with ease. He can. He could play for a guy that you would really cheer for and you'd love the guy, and he could play like a real horse's ass, like you just couldn't stand him. That's how great of an actor he was. I mean, he really got into his roles. So this is really, really nice. This is well worth the 25 bucks I spent. And then here are the art cards. Henry Silva was a great actor, too. He was always kind of a straight guy, always kind of like the the calm and the voice of reason type guy. Really, really nice set. So I went over to their website and I checked out some of their other movies that they're releasing. They don't have a really big catalog yet, but it looks like they have some pretty good stuff on their website. And I, I did order another title that I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna save that for the next video and show you guys. So this is called Free Hand for a Tough Cop on Blu-ray, and it's a beautiful set, I recommend it. We're gonna pause it here, we got one more thing to show, and then we'll wrap up the video. So this is the vinyl soundtrack for Evil Dead 2 from Waxwork Records. This one sold out on pre-order, so it's not available on their site anymore. You may be able to find this on eBay for a decent price, but Chances are people bought this, they knew it sold out and they're gonna probably try to scalp you, unfortunately. So this is the original motion picture score, music by Joseph Loduca, deluxe packaging with insert, hand poured colored vinyl, Evil in the Woods variant, art by Phantom City Creative. So we'll just kind of give this a once over and then I'll peel off the cellophane and we'll have a look at the record. So the plastic is off. This is a gatefold. There's the cabin. And there's a, there's supposed to be an art print in here. Here, let me, uh, let me pause it really quick. So this is what the art print looks like. Evil Dead 2 is a pretty silly movie, but it's it's fun. It's more of a comedy than anything else. I, I much prefer the original Evil Dead because it's a, a straight up horror movie. Evil Dead 2 is like a slapstick comedy, um, but there's pretty good effects in it. And if I'm in the right mood, I, I have fun with it. Here's what the vinyl looks like. And they're calling this one the Evil in the Woods variant. I think this one sold out really quick. It's got that kind of that green putrid slime look to it. Uh, really glad to have this record though. So that will do it for my update video. I want to give a shout out to Toronto John, who just won the latest contest giveaway. That was that was not the 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest. That was just a just a random giveaway for me to you guys to kind of. Um, give back to the community for the support and everything and uh, there will be more over this year I'll be giving more stuff away so stay tuned for that I usually don't ask for subscribers I really don't care what my subscriber number is I don't do this for numbers I just do this as a hobby but you may want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be aware of the next contest but that's up to you I, I don't care if you do or not but if you want to get in on it uh, you may want to subscribe and hit that bell just so you can see when the next contest is so from hannah and miss heidi i'm your boy toddy walnut she gets a little nervous when it's 
when there's bad weather, she gets nervous. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.